do 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 Yes, indeed. Hey, 510JK, can you hear me okay? This is an audio test. I know you've got music in the background. Can you hear my voice okay? Right on. Where's the music? There's no music. Corey, is there music? There should be music. No music? I'm going to start in just a second, you guys, and we're going to goof off for a little while. I just got back from a trip. Uh, you guys hear me five by five? Yeah? Okay, good. Great. That's awesome. Here, let me crank up the tunes for you because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna start for another 45 seconds. How's that, you guys? Are we jamming now? Build, break, repeat. Charlie, that's right. Mic is a little hot. I have the mic on auto, so I'll try and keep my voice down a little bit. But I'm not gonna go through the mic configuration too much. But let's do this. That might help. That might help. Hey, just getting everything uh, situated. It's like flying a 747 in here, all right? Hey, let's start. Hi, you guys. What's, what's, what's going on? Hey. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Check this, guys, check this out, you guys. We're high tech. Should I, hold on. <laughs> Just a second. Just a second. We're just getting things. We're we're just getting things situated, and then I'm going to tell you about the trip. Wait, yeah, hold on. All right. Okay. Hold on. That's better. You can see me now, right? Hey, what's going on, you guys? Hey, so uh, now I'm going to turn down the music so you guys can hear me. Um, Hope you guys are having or had an awesome weekend. Uh, this is just uh, a, 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 a live to talk to you guys. Just got back from a trip. We're talking a little bit about the 80. I've got the 80, hold on. I've got the 80 right there, see? Who is that? Oh, that's gonna be Corey. I got the 80 right there. By the way, you see, you guys see this? You see that? You need to turn your mic up just ever so slightly. Turn the mic up ever so slightly. Oh, yeah. Okay, hold on. Do, do, do. Let me hear. There we go. All right. So there's the 80. Just got back from a trip, you guys. Um, and uh, this here is, uh, it is Athletic Brewing Company. This is not sponsored, but if you guys like your road sodas, you guys don't feel so scandalized for those of you that are going road sodas. Some people do it, right? But you shouldn't. You should drink a non-alcoholic brew. That's what you see. And the only reason I'm explaining that is because I turned the camera and it's like, look. <laughs> all right. I hope that is, uh, I hope the audio and the video is all situated now. Um, we just got back from a trip. Uh, once a year, my son and I go on a trip. We had a little bit of adventure. And um, you guys, if you have any questions, write Overland Bound in brackets and I'll see it out of the corner of my eye. It'll highlight and then I'll answer your questions because today's video is just hanging out with you. I wanna show you a couple of things on the 80. Um, Corey and I have recently done a bunch of retrofitting on the 80. We've got a new setup. It's awesome, but I just literally rolled it up um, after a trip, and now I'm sitting here talking to you guys. Um, during the trip, uh, during the trip, the 80 broke down. That's right, it broke down. Uh, it stopped running, and if if you guys have been you know visiting with us for a little while now, you know that very recently we um, we put a brand new engine in the 80 because at 240,000 miles, it blew up. And so we put a new 80, uh, a, a new engine in it. And so what, what breaks down on an 80 with a new engine? The electricals, and that's what happened. And I wanna show you guys, um, why non-alcohol, just curious. Sean, it's a good question. So if you're on the trail, that's what I'm talking about, right? You don't want to drink while you're on the trail because you're endangering other folks, you're endangering yourself, 
So that's all I'm talking about. Like right now, I could totally be drinking blah, 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 a, a beer and it'd be no big deal. Um, except YouTube might demonetize us. I'm just not sure. Because you know, all that YouTube cash. I'm joking, it's not. So the electricals went wrong with the 80 series and it's a known issue. The wiring harness goes past a hot spot and it kind of cooks the wiring harness, it melts and it fuses some wires together. Um, and so I had to pull it apart. I got on the horn with um, uh, Top Shop Auto, Lafayette, thank you Frank, and he talked me through the wiring harness and how to diagnose and fix the issue. We fixed it and then we were on the road for the rest of, of the journey. And I'll share some photos here in a second. But I actually, um, uh, <laughs> I actually will show you. Now, when I get up to go over to the truck, the mic is not going to go with me. So I'll go over and I'll show you and then I'll, I'll come back and, uh, you know, and then I'll talk a little bit more about it. So this is for the 80s gearheads who just want to hang out and, and chat. And if you guys have questions, I'm glad to answer your questions. Just highlight them uh, and, and and I will, I will answer them. And Corey will yell at me from the other room if I miss a really important question. Okay, hold on. So I'm gonna do this, boom. I'm gonna turn on my, my phone and it should, uh, it, it, it should stay on. So let's go take a look. See now, now, this is my repair job here. This is an injector wire. And then here, this down here, right? Hold on, let me pull that off. I don't need that. This is my repair job way down here. That's the wiring harness on the 80 series and it gets really hot. It gets really hot. And that is the repair. So, so that's what that's where the repair was. And so I yeah I spent uh, quite a few hours under the hood tracking down the wires and finally getting it resolved, and that took place in Carson Carson City, Nevada. But then. We were afraid that the thing was gonna stop running again for about a solid day. And then our fears went away because it ran like an ox to uh, the Grand Canyon, which was where we went. Thank you, Corey. Um, and we had a fantastic visit. We had a fantastic visit with uh, Epic Family Road Trip. Let me show you guys where that is, hold on. Boom, check this out, but wait, there's more. This is the Overland Bound One app. It's on iOS and Android, it's free, but a lot of you guys that are, that are listening right now, you're probably members, so I thank you very much for being a member. You have access to this app and all its awesome features, but it's free so you, can, you guys can go and get it. But check it out. So this is where we went, boom. And now I'm gonna go ahead and go to Whitmore. Overlook. And that is, uh, you basically start in St. George, Utah, and then you travel through to Arizona. Boom. All right, so there it is. And I, I entered this into the app so our members add locations to the map, right? And that's my GPX, that's actually the track that I followed. And then um, you guys can check this out, you can see exactly where I went, you've got my review, and then we've got all the stats too, right? So all the stats, uh, it's 458 miles away from where I am right now, but if you guys are interested, the place I went was uh, Whitmore Overlook and I highly recommend going, going to visit. Um, it, 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 was, it was awesome. So let me see. Do, 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 do. Check this out. Super cool, right? 
Uh, awesome Milky Way. Had a great time. Wait, there's a question. 510JK, where did you get your Pro 6 custom decals? What, what are, oh, you mean the, the light covers. Hold on, let me show you guys uh, the Whitmore Overlook. So, so, see how fancy I am? That's Whitmore Overlook um, at night. Uh, and, and you can go there and you can also walk down to the Colorado River, go swimming in the river. It wasn't too cold there, believe it or not. Uh, so it was a really, really great, really, really great trip. Um, so yeah, you guys should go and check it out on the app. You can get all the information. You can download the GPX file and all that kind of stuff. Um, let's see. So now to answer your question, Answer your question, where do you get the, the Pro 6 custom decals? I just made them. I, I made I made the, the stencils. Um, so sanded down the, the light covers, covered them in uh, painter's tape, stenciled, printed out the numbers on, on a printer, uh, and and just painted the the Pro 6 light covers. That's how I that's how I did that. I highly recommend putting your overland bound number on your spotlights if you can. And if you can't, then get more spotlights. <laughs> All right, another question. Great, thank you um, for asking some questions so we can hang out. It's quality time, man. Um, Rodrigo, what's going on, man? Thanks for saying hi. Did you upload some of those pictures to the Overlook location in the app? Yeah, I did. John B., I have to show you now, right? Because you asked, and I have to be like, oh, I got this one. I got it. So, <laughs> so, so hold on. Let's take a look. Boom, boom. Um, and so you guys know you can, you can review, right? So, so you go here and you say, hey, I wanna see these. And uh, yeah, so you guys can see some thumbnails here, but these pictures are in the app. Um, that's my star photography. You guys can now compliment me in the comments. Um, it, it took some time. It was 4 a.m. and uh, the results were, were well worth it. The moment was well worth it. This is a dog named Blue. Not kidding. Um, and she did not care about the thousand foot drop off to the Colorado River. She just hung out six inches from the edge and chilled. Um, and just more more views and that's on the drive out there so yeah i i did put some uh some photos uh in the location uh in the app all right does the 80 have gears or new shocks yet um nick so you know my configuration uh and you were with me when it decided not to go up the hill not because it didn't have enough stock power but just because it didn't have enough power stock <laughs> to get up the hill. No, it does not have gear and it does not have new shocks. We, um, actually I should say, uh, Frank at Top Shop Auto, our mechanic, ordered King suspension um, without asking and said I had quite a few months to figure out how I was gonna pay for it because he was tired of hearing me complain about my shocks. So uh, that package is coming and eventually we'll have the King suspension. It should be any time now. We should get an update. Thanks for asking questions, you guys. Uh, uh, it, it's fun to answer your questions. Uh, so yeah, we just got back. Um, do you guys, okay, let's see. Is there ever enough light? There's never enough light. There is never, there's never enough light, especially if you're traveling fast. So floods, great if you're just going down the trail. And so I've, nine times out of 10, I use the floods on the front of the, the 80 series bumper, if you guys see photos of that. Um, da, 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 da. You will see those two lights on the 80, right? On the bumper, normally going down the trail that is is absolutely fine but if i'm traveling quickly and sometimes we've had to travel quickly at night uh, because of a an emergency situation if you're traveling quickly at night you want long throw man so yeah never enough light um all right uh why king and not icon because i hear, hear all kinds of bad things about icon about them blowing seals and stuff like that uh and i've personally never heard anything bad about king uh, and that's my honest answer 
Um, and I know that Icon is very good in terms of their customer service, but if I'm out in the middle of no place, they're not gonna ship me a shock in, out in the middle of no place, right? I just don't want it to go wrong in the first place. So, um, and, and I've, you know, I've got myself in, in a little bit of debates back and forth with folks when I say, King, because they're awesome. Uh, Cause they're also really expensive. And Fox, man, they make great, you know, they make great shocks, but um, for me it's King and that's the reason. Uh, all right, oh, so now my, uh, the, the, the Overland Bound app is going off on my phone. You, maybe some of you guys are writing me messages. Um, all right, so 22-inch uh, rims mall, mall crawler. No, I got 16-inch rims on mine. Um, let's see. Do you guys want to see? Um, let's see. I, I want to show you something that's new and kind of cool, and I'll tell you what it is, and then I'll go and show you... Um, because again, the mic, that's probably hard to hear me when I walk away from the, when I walk away from the mic here. We have new cases on the top. There's Argus, and here's why I like the new cases. I used to have ratchet straps over the cases, and so every time I wanted to access something on the roof, I had to take off the ratchet, the, the ratchet straps and then access the cases, and that's a big pain. And now they're permanently uh, uh, fixed to the rack and this trip um, the reason I'm bringing it up is because this trip I really experienced the benefit um, so you guys something happens on the trail right do 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 something happens on the trail watch how quickly I can access my cases okay okay watch this watch this That's better, right? And a lot of you guys are probably like, duh, dude. But <laughs> but we've been building the 80 since 2010, right? And so we just very slowly, we just very slowly increment um, uh, on the 80 and, and slowly build it up. And so this is just another recent upgrade and it was very, very convenient for us. So, very, very cool. Um, all right, Overland Bound, Nick. <laughs> so Nick, N Nick, who in in the in the comments, Nick is saying um, now we're going to be racing to see who can pull tools faster on the trail for repairs. Well, so the thing is though, Nick has a lot more practice because um, my 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 nickname for Nick is Nick. Full send, that's his name, Nick Full Send. And he breaks stuff. And so if we <laughs> if we want to test any equipment, we give it to Nick and he'll break it. <laughs> so he he is uh he, he's very experienced at getting the tools down. No, seriously though, uh Nick also when he comes out with us on the trail, he supports so many people because he knows what he's doing. He's got he brings the tools and is often involved in the trail fixes when we go out. So thanks, Nick. Um, all right. All the best parties are at West Marine. I just saw that comment. Yes, West Marine is a very good source of uh, overlanding kit because it's meant for Marine. It's, it's highly durable. You also pay the premium tax over there at West Marine. Um, but hey, they, have, they probably have what you need and they have, they have good quality stuff. Uh, let's see. What else do I want to talk about after this trip? <clears throat> I think that's it. It was a great, it was a great trip. Um, the uh, the 80 did very well, except for breaking down in in Carson City, and um, the new platform that we have. We have a drawer system. I'd highly recommend a drawer system if you guys are doing an SUV type build out for two, three, or maybe four people. 
Uh, at the four person mark, you have, you're probably bringing a tent on the rack as well, but the drawer system was great. Um, and with, that's new for us too. So we're continuing to put it through the paces and see what we really like about it. But we don't have to put the bed away um, in order to hit the trail. So the in-service time, um, meaning you wake up in the morning and then you're rolling down the trail, you're in service, um, is, is very short and it's really been nice. So our time is about five minutes now. If, we're not talking about having breakfast and getting coffee. We're talking about waking up and putting things away and hitting the trail. It's very fast now and that's very cool. If you guys do a long duration trip, many of you guys know this, if you guys are doing a long duration trip, you do not want a 10 minute setup or a 10 minute takedown. You don't. Don't do that to yourself, man. Just don't. It No. So you want to be able to get going quickly. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, let's see, any other questions? You guys ask some questions. Right now, I'm gonna show you, it's a mess. Corey hates it when I do this because the 80, 80 series is, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a mess, so it's kinda like showing my dirty laundry. But I'm gonna show you guys a sleeping platform. I'm gonna show you what I mean real quick, okay? So here we go. Do, do, do. All right. All right! So, so. This platform so that platform can stay out because the passenger seat and the driver's seat um, can go all the way back and that platform is still in place. And even me at six foot one, I still have enough sleeping area in the back. So that's just been a real game changer for us. If you saw really quickly, there, are, there were a, a couple of uh, cases on the back and those little cases in this trip, Miguel had one and I had one and I was able to just give him a case and say, whatever you can fit in that case is what you can bring. If you can't fit it, you can't bring it. He asked if you could bring a bow and arrow. Okay, there are exceptions. But basically, <laughs> but basically, here's the case. Whatever you can fit in there, you can bring. Otherwise, it doesn't come, right? Um, let's see. Why 80 over 100? I can afford a 100. Which, uh, one, which one do you recommend? By the way, I'm new to off-roading and overlanding. Well, first of all, um, Azos, I, I hope I'm pronouncing the, the name correctly or maybe it's an, a nickname or something. Anyway, I'm, I'm saying what I see. Thank you for the question. Um, why 80 over 100 series? For me, I'm really a solid axle guy. I like the solid axle. It, would I drive something else? Of course I would. I mean, uh, you know, in, independent front suspension, um, is, uh, is, is very, it can be very durable. I like the 80 series. Um, you know, that's, that's front and rear lockers, um, you know, center differential lock. I just liked the combination of um, durable components on the 80 series. Uh, and then also, truth be told, I think, you know, in 2010 when I bought it, I think the 100 series were fairly unattainable for me. And so I've had this, this rig for a fairly uh, long time and I do really like it. If somebody asks me 100 series versus 80 series, I'm, I'm gonna say, hey, 100 series is a, great, uh, is a great vehicle because Land Cruisers, the Toyota Land Cruiser in their product line, that's the over-engineered um, make and model. Uh, that, that's the over-engineered model, is the Land Cruiser series. They just, their, 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 their testing uh, is, is through the roof. It's, it's over-engineered, they're very, very tough. So anything in the Land Cruiser series uh, series is gonna be good. But for me, the 80 series just had everything that, that I, I wanted. You know, it's, it's an inline six tractor motor, um, very durable, uh, relatively few solid state components, though there are a couple. Um, for the solid state components that I have, I carry spares. I have a spare igniter. If that goes bad, I've learned the hard way, 
you're not going anywhere. Uh, so I have spare, spare solid state components, not an ECU, but um, uh, some of the other parts. I hope that answered your question. Uh, that's probably the primary reasons for me. Um, how is <laughs> how is that a mess? Uh, that's my regular day. Hey, thanks. I appreciate that. Um, you know, on the last day, we um, we just hauled out. You know, we had some miles. We didn't put the bed away, and so you see the sleeping bags out. And there's also a lot of dust because it was 70 miles of you know uh, pretty high speed driving on dirt dirt roads, and so there's a lot of dust and stuff like that. Yeah. The way the rig is set up now, it forces us to be organized, which is awesome. There really is a place for everything, everything in its place. There's no bins. If there is a bin, it's attached to the vehicle. So right now we have a very, uh, uh, a very clean setup and I'm really enjoying it. Hold on, wait, this is important. All right, let's see, any other questions? FJ80 is cool. End of story. That should have been my answer. Um, so I'm new to overlanding and I've been saving for a new Bronco. I was recently uh, contacted by the uh, contacted by the reliability bank of dad. <laughs> oh, uh, so I have a video on that. Uh, so congratulations, Andy, for getting such an awesome new overland platform. That is really, really cool. We're really excited about the Bronco. The the um, back of the napkin stats for the Broncos, really impressive. I'm in interested um, which one you're getting. Um, you know, it, uh, they, they have different variants. Um, Recommended setup for a new player in the game. My answer is yes, I do have a, a recommended setup. I would say in terms of the gear that you get, let's let's talk gear real quick and then I'll talk about the rig. Gear, sleeping bag, and plenty of water. Food, eh. But you, you know, you're gonna be safe if you've got a good sleeping bag and plenty of water. And don't get all caught up in the gear. That's why I mentioned that is because you're gonna see all kinds of gear and you have plenty of time to grow into all that cool stuff. Um, so, but don't get overwhelmed by all the gear. Just get something and go. For the vehicle, just make sure it's protected. So right out of the box, somebody who gets a, um, I'm not making fun of you. I'm not, I, it, you're very fortunate. Somebody who gets a Ford Bronco right out of the gate, you're good, man. <laughs> you're good. That's like that's like the Ford Raptor, right? Like, what? what I, I just got a brand new Ford Raptor. How? What should I do to it? Nothing. <laughs> you're good, man. <laughs> Go. All joking aside, um, uh, you know, I don't know what the slider options are, but I always say sliders. Uh, you should get sliders for the vehicle. If, it, if your variant doesn't have very solid sliders, that's the first thing you're gonna do is um, your breakover angle is gonna hit a rock and you're gonna crush something. So get sliders down there. And I know Ford is working with a bunch of aftermarket uh, uh, fabricators to offer you know, um, slider options for the Bronco, but it's so new that we don't know how attainable those are. But that's my first thing. Get, you know, I know it's gonna come with good tires, a good all-terrain, and then sliders. And then from there, you can build on, you can build on up. But the Bronco is a great platform right out of the gate. So you should be good. Just go out there and, and enjoy. It's gonna take 18 months before we know what aftermarket parts are available for it. How do I put a winch on it? How do I, you know, what kind of additional front bumpers are available? What about roof racks? All those questions, it's gonna be a little while before we have the answer to that. All right, but you're gonna be good. Uh, let's see, so, let's see. Uh, oh, uh, looking at the Badlands, that is gonna be, that, that's gonna be awesome. Yeah, you're good. Um, let's see. I see Overland Bound as a, uh, I see the highlight here. Um, newest member, hey Daniel, what's going on? Thanks for thanks for thanks for uh, hanging out with me today. Really appreciate it, and thanks for hanging out with the community here in the chat. Uh, Twenty one one seventy, right on. Um, let's see. 
Full-time overlanding in two minus two weeks. Daniel, congratulations. That is really awesome, and I hope that the community can be a support network for you. Um, you know, one of the things we say, this will be more true going uh, uh, into the future as we continue to develop the app, but you know, the Overland Bound community, it is a focused adventure travel social network that will provide support. So as you overland, don't forget us, we'll be there for some support. So congrats, that's awesome. Um, let's see, what else? Um, Red Arc, DC DC Charger versus National Luna. Um, M70 Hornet, I, I, my setup is gonna be full send Red Arc. <laughs> and the reason I say full send Red Arc is because um, I, you know, I'm getting all the things. I have the Manager 30, I have the Red Vision um, uh, uh, accessory, um, solar, and so it's gonna be a fairly complete um, uh, Red Arc setup. Now, um, of course, if you guys are just joining, um, we do lots of videos. We, we, we rarely do a live video, uh, though we do from time to time. Uh, and on our regular channel, here on YouTube, I will be doing a console build, a custom center console build that will house the Red Arc and will house the 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 uh, Red Vision. And um, yeah, I'm also gonna do some, I, call me crazy, I'm gonna do some custom uh, fiberglass uh, inserts on the A-pillars so that I can have some gauges uh, in, the, in, the, in the pillars. Um, so it should be a good build. So follow along if you wanna see that, that install. Let's see. Uh, Daniel, awesome. I'm sure you will. You know, I mean, uh, we we have, I, I never want people to forget that we have our founding principles, the Overland Bound founding principles. They're over on our website under about founding principles, um, sometimes referred to our core principles. Uh, and, you know, just adhere, just, just read them and and adhere to them, and that's what we stand for. We're supportive. We are uh, 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 Pixar PG-13. Um, we we really want to encourage people to get out there, and we also leave land better than we found it. That's our that's that's very important to us as well. So um, I am sure you will be a positive contributor. Uh, speaking of which, I'm looking forward to anybody out there that's watching right now that's going to go down to um, uh, the Mojave Desert. Mojave Road um, to the cleanup that we're doing next week. I look forward to seeing you there. Um, Overland Bound members have removed hundreds of thousands of pounds of stuff from deserts and public spaces and continue to do so. So thanks to all the Overland Bound members that are out there uh, cleaning up our public lands and keeping them open because we all need adventure. Remove soapbox. What else? Um, 29268. What's going on? Thanks for watching the YouTube channels. Um, yeah, and I have been doing a few up. So I have been doing a few upgrades lately. Um, what other one can I show you? Um, oh, check this out. Wait, check this out. You want, you guys want, you guys want to see my center console? I've started the project. Let me show you. What do you guys think? <laughs> so uh, I have just, uh, yeah, I've, I've just um, ripped everything out. <laughs> That's as far as, as far as I've gotten. And the stuff you guys might be seeing in the corner, this is all the, the components for the system. And uh, going dual AGM uh, with the dual battery setup. Um, hey, 2505, thank you for checking in. This is just a visit today, uh, talking about the 80 series, my recent trip, and um, how the 80 broke, which was the wiring harness, which I got fixed. Uh, but Nick, if you're still watching, please bring extra tools, because I think we might need them. Um, Russell White, that's what I do. I ramble. Indeed. Yes. All right, I think that's about it, you guys. Um, if there's any other last minute quick questions, thanks for hanging out. Yeah, that looks like my JK2. Yeah, right, probably in the middle of a project. Okay, hey, 
Thanks for hanging out, you guys. I will see you soon. And uh, please, if you're not out on an adventure, start planning one. And we'll see you out there on the, on the trail. Bye, guys. Thanks for hanging out.